Hey everyone, today we are practicing Utita Parasvakanasana, which means extended side angle pose. So again, it's a standing position. Get onto your mat if you're not there already and let's get started. So this is a really, really strong position. You're going to feel it straight away. So I'm going to get in at the first position. I'm going to show you a couple of different variations. And as I, get, as I always say, it's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels. So I want you to get into this position take a few breaths and we can work on putting them together. Now what I thought would be a really good idea, you can let me know how you feel about this, is why don't we take all of the positions that we've learned over the last 10 days and put them together as one live class. If you guys would like to do that, I would love to do it with you. So you can just give me a thumbs up or let me know and I shall make it happen for you. So you're going to take your legs nice and wide for this. And again, I'll show you on one side and then onto the other. So lifting up through the right toes, we'll take them outward first. And you're going to just take the back leg in about 45 degrees again. Now we're going to be sitting down nice and low for this. Well, I always think it's a good chance to give yourself a little bit of a warm up, coming in and out a few times. And I think learning yoga like this, just one position at a time, is really, really effective. So I want you guys to be aware of what's happening in your own body. Sometimes when you're in a class environment, you're in and out of a pose before you've actually really looked at how your body looks in this. So have a little uh, play around with it. What I want you to be really aware of is your um, angles here. So I want you to have a nice 90 degree angle here and here. So you're sitting the hips down as low as you can, taking a little bit of a lean into that front elbow. Now if you are here and you're overextending your knee, you're going to be feeling some pain right now. And I'll show you what that looks like. So someone who is overextending their knee hasn't taken their stance wide enough, but they can come down low. And you can see that my toes are going over my knees. My angles are too tight here. It's horrible, guys. It's not much fun. So just make sure that when you come down, you've got your angles right. Firstly, the heel is planted. I don't want this heel to be lifted from the floor. And I think I quite like this position because you get to come in and have a wee bit of a rest here to start with, which is really nice. So as always, making sure that the shoulders are away from the ears, that you're not sinking in. As much as we want the hips down nice and low, we want to be stretching out through the legs. I want you to take the hand to face upwards and we're going to really reach all the way up and over on an inhale until you kind of come with your arm towards your ear. So you've got a really nice line of energy from the heel all the way out through the hips, right out through the fingertips. So it's a really energising pose. And your drishti or your looking point in this position ideally would be the fingertips. However, if you're looking up towards your fingertips and it's tight, if it's crunching into the neck, if there's any pain, of course, it's good to just look underneath the arm as well, taking a few deep breaths and coming out nice and steady. So let's take a look on the other side and I'll show you a little bit of a stronger variation. And again, it's just a chance for you guys to see where you're at. Noticing that one side's always a little bit more flexible than the other, but that's all good. So again, so once you've got yourself in here, you're going to sit the hips down nice and low. Taking a little rest to get yourself in the position. Now the first or the next position, if you wanted to come into, would be to take your hand onto the inside of the foot, onto the floor. And the reason for this is I want you to use your shoulders and your arm to really press the knee open. And that's going to allow you to really open nice up into the chest. So you're going to stack in the shoulders on top of one another. Now you can see that when I bring my arm down, that my hips start to sink a bit lower as well, so it is stronger on the legs. Just watch that back leg, keep it really nicely engaged, okay? Also make sure that you haven't started to lift the back foot from the floor. Really ground it down, turn the palm to face upwards, and again coming into the full position on an inhale, taking this hand up and over. So it looks strong, feels strong, feels really, really good. Really great pose to do in the morning. If you wanted to come in a little bit further, I'm going to show you again. You come down into the same position. And this is maybe for someone who's got a little bit more strength, a little bit more flexibility. Rather than using the shoulder to open up the knee, your knee is going to stay where it is. You're going to take your hand up to the outside of the foot this time. Remember, anytime your hand touches the mat, that it's spread as wide as it will go. Both feet are planted, hips are nice and low. And again, you're up and you're over. So what I want you to check in this position that you're not facing downwards. I want you to feel as if you were turning the chest right up towards the ceiling and breathing in nice and deeply. 
strong on the legs but feels so so good and as I say guys let me know if you would like me to string all of these poses together with you make up our own really nice little flow and thank you for joining me guys have a fab day